Hi, this is Sarah from Made on the Common, and in this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the new template that's been designed for tax registered sellers in Canada. So, this template would be for you if you're tax registered and based in Canada, obviously, and you have a tax ID listed on Etsy, either just for GST, HST, or also for QST, the Quebec sales tax. So, there are actually two versions of the template. Um, depending on how you list your products. There's a single currency version if you list your products in Canadian dollars and a multi-currency version if you list in another currency um, such as US dollars. But they both work exactly the same way. So the reason that this template was developed is because in July 2022 there was a big change on Etsy in how your tax is calculated. So prior to that date it didn't matter whether you were tax registered or not. Etsy would handle all of the tax for you um, and if you were tax registered it would pay you any tax that was due on your sales for you to pay over to the tax authorities. So you could list your product at $100 and then Etsy when it came to checkout would charge your customer the $100 plus whatever tax was due and you would get paid for example $113 so that you could um, split out the 13 and pay that over the tax authorities and you would still receive the $100 that you'd kind of listed your product at. From July 2022 though this has all changed and Etsy are no longer handling most of the taxes. So if you're GST HST registered um, you would list your product at $100 still but now Etsy wouldn't add anything extra onto the top of that price. So you would receive the $100, but out of that, you're now responsible for calculating any tax due. So that means you need to look at where your customer is based. And if they're in a, a kind of a 13% um, tax province, you would need to deduct um, the 13 off that or the applicable tax. Um, if obviously if it was in a lower tax province, you would deduct a lower amount, but you wouldn't be able to keep the $100 anymore. You would have to deduct your tax, which has obviously reduced your profit. So the problem that you have is a you need to look at what you've sold, particularly if you have um, a mix of products, some taxable and some not. And also you need to split out your sales by province. So this template will do all that work for you. So if I just show you quickly how it works. So you set the um, template up the same way as all the other templates. If you have previously had um, the old Canada version, you'll see this looks exactly the same. But there's now two extra setup sheets. There's the tax setup which is where it holds all of the tax uh, percentages. And this is also where you'd put the start date of when you want to start calculating these taxes. So if you're already registered, that would be 1st of July. If you um, buy this template later on and just get registered later in the year, you would change that. And also you can indicate on here if you have a Quebec tax ID listed on it. So you just change that to yes, put your date in here and it will start calculating the tax. You then need to set up your items. So you only need to bother with this sheet if you have some products that are non-taxable and you don't want the tax calculations adding on there. Um, and you would just list them on here and it won't calculate the tax. The other big change you'll see is that previously and on most of my um, templates, you just add your payment account and your order file. Now, because of these non-taxable, kind of potential non-taxable items, you also need to add your order item file. And this is where you'll see that this is where all the tax calculations happen. So you drop in your file onto here. It will then, over on the right hand side, it has in here the location of your customer. So you can see there it's got shipping state and shipping country. So it uses that information together with the listing ID to work out if there's tax chargeable. So on here, it looks at the tax item. You can see you've got yes and no in here. Um, if it's a yes and it's gone to Canada and to a province, it will look up the right tax percentage and then calculate the tax due. You can see if I did, if I was um, registered in Quebec, if we put 1st of July and go back to here, you will see it's now also calculated any Quebec sales tax that you need to do. So all the calculations happen on this sheet. This information then gets passed to your order file. You can see it's just pulled through the total by order. That in turn then gets passed onto your payment account. And you can see that against every sale that you've made, when we have sale down here, 
it will look across and if it's got Quebec, it will calculate the tax that's due and deduct it off your um, amount sold. On the Etsy summary, you'll see this information then gets totaled up by month. So you've got your information coming from Etsy here, which is your activity summary, uh, which matches what you see on your payment account on Etsy. And then further down, you'll see down here, we've got removal of sales tax, and that's all broken down down here. So you can see that prior to June, the tax was calculated by Etsy and paid to you. From July, it now calculates the tax in the file. If you want to see the total of tax that's been collected, you can go over here to the tax summary. And you'll see at the top it has your total sales and then down here you can choose to just look at Canada for all provinces or you can look at an individual province and you'll see the tax amounts that have been deducted. Etsy is actually still calculating the tax and actually is handling all of the tax themselves for, for some of the province taxes, um, including British Columbia, which is why you see deduction there. Um, but then you'll see down here it's calculated the GST. We look at um, Ontario, you can see the same. And if we look at Quebec, you can see down there it's also calculated the Quebec sales tax because we indicated that we were registered in Quebec. If I take that off again, you'll see that that will go back to zero. that's now been deducted and your tax amount is slightly different. So over and then the final thing to look at is over here you'll see you get a nice summary by quarter so if you pay quarterly taxes um, you've just got hopefully got all the numbers that you need there. So that's it that's the new tax registered um, template for Canadian sellers. You can actually use it both pre and post July um, so you can use it um, if you do your taxes on a calendar year you can actually just put your whole month your whole 12 months in here and it will calculate um, for the months prior to the change, um, you'll see numbers appearing in this line and then post the change, you'll get the breakdown down here. If you're not tax registered, um, then you can still use the old version of the file, uh, which is slightly easier to use because you don't need to add your order items file and it doesn't have so many formula columns. So I'd recommend that if you're still a way off being registered, I would use the simpler version of the file, um, which you can find in the shop. But if you're close to being registered or already registered, then you'll need to use this one. All templates are available over in my Etsy shop. Um, you'll see the link just above here. And I'll also add links to the individual files down below this video so you can go straight to the one that you want. Thanks very much.